Cyclical Keto is so personal. Honestly, it is so personal and going to be based off of how your body responds to going off plan, how easily it's coming back into ketosis. If going off plan triggers like, you know, an extended amount of time off plan, it's super personal. But here is what I have done in the past uh, and what I'm doing currently. So in the past, when I was um, keto, I would be strict keto for about three out of four weeks in a month. And then the week before my period, I would do 50 to 75 grams of carbs. And in that week, I would take one meal where I just ate whatever I wanted and I didn't apologize for nothing. Okay, so that's how I was doing it. And then now that I'm on carnivore, um, I am eating strictly meat. Uh, but about once a week, we go out for wings and I get honey garlic wings, which means they do have some carbs. But again, I'm not apologizing. I'm giving myself a few carbs and a food that makes me able to sustain eating carnivore, right? Finding foods that you love within that way of eating is a great way to sustain something. Um, that being said, um, I still go off plan sometimes. I plan to go off plan. If I'm going on vacation, I'm going to do it. If I'm going over to a friend's house and they're not carnivore because none of my friends are carnivore, I eat what they have and I don't, again, I don't apologize um, generally speaking, if you go off for one meal, you're going to wake up the next morning and everything is going to be perfectly fine. When you go off for a week, you have to get back into ketosis depending on how far off plan you went. So because I kept it like 50 to 75 grams of carbs, my body never fully became unreliant on ketones in that week. Even though I had a few more carbs, there was still overnight I was making ketones. So my body would go back into it pretty easily. Uh, cyclical keto works best when you're still carb conscious. You just make a little bit more wiggle room for foods. But if you go completely ham, like on vacation, when you come home, you're going to go through the whole getting into ketosis thing again. And for some people, that's harder than others. There's tips and tricks and tools to do it as easily as possible. Um, but again, it's personal and really about your relationship with food and how your body responds to carbs and how you manage them and whether you need them or you don't need them. So I know it's like helpful, not helpful, um, but it definitely just something to play with in order to help you make the keto lifestyle more sustainable.